Hello everyone. I'm at the site of the Louisiana Purchase, the 1904 World's Fair, held in St. Louis, Missouri, in Forest Park, my favorite park. Even though this Victorian bridge wasn't directly related to the World's Fair, it was here, being that it was built in 1885. Whew, that's old. And from what I understand, there was a trolley stop up there somewhere. So, you can imagine, there was quite a few people that strolled over this bridge going to the fair. The Grand Basin was the site of many of the buildings in the fair. It's amazing how different it looked. Somewhere in the park, the Ferris wheel is buried. No one seems to know the location. First used in Chicago, then here, it was destroyed with 200 pounds of dynamite. Wow. It cost 50 cents to ride and was powered by two 1,000 horsepower steam engines. And right here below the art museum was the festival hall. The Palace of the Arts was deemed too ugly and was hiding behind the festival hall. The art museum got the last laugh. It's still here. The Palace of the Fine Arts is now the Art Museum, just to clarify. I think the Palace of the Fine Arts sounds classier. They should have kept that name. King Louis IX was here in 1904, commonly known as St. Louis. Hmm. The fair is said to be the birthplace of the ice cream cone, the hot dog, the hamburger, iced tea, the club sandwich, just to name a few. Interesting. These canals were used for transportation during the fair. The government birdcage was here in 1904.
The Smithsonian Institute commissioned the flight cage for the Louisiana Purchase and intended to move it to the National Zoo in Washington. But St. Louisans had a better idea. They raised 3500 to keep it here. And just like any good St. Louisan, they got a bargain. It cost 17500 to construct. Nice. Later became the inspiration for the start of the St. Louis Zoo. See that clock tower? It was here back in 1904. Now the visitor center. It once was attached to the Lindell Pavilion, but sadly it burnt down. You would have thought that something called the World's Fair Pavilion would have been here in 1904, but you would be wrong. It was built after the World's Fair in 1909. on the site of the Missouri building. The Missouri building was supposed to remain after the fair, but two weeks before the fair was to close, a fire in the kitchen burnt most of the building down. Let's go ahead to Wash U to see where the Summer Olympics were held. I'm at the campus of Washington University and most of what you see here was here in 1904. The Wrigley Library, built in 01, was used by the British government. And Couples, one, was used by anthropology. And Brookings Hall, built in 1900, was their administration building. And today, it's an administration building for Washington University. Interesting. Yep, this is the best I could get. They're under construction. The Eads Hall, built in 1902, was used by the Board of Lady Managers. It's so weird how things were back then. So, during the World's Fair, they were also holding the Third Olympics. And Francis Field was the site where the Olympics were held. University City is where I'm at now. And this is the magazine building. 
or City Hall as it is today. It used to be a spotlight on top, and it was used to let the fairgoers know there was a place to stay over here. Interesting. Built by Edward Lewis. Having all this land around, he didn't want it to go to waste. And a tent city was built for the fairgoers. Thanks for joining me on today's adventure. See you later. Bye. Stay tuned for more adventure to come. Subscribe, like, share, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.